Hello guys and girls, friends and viewers from Belmodo. Today I have something pretty special for you guys. Something I wanted to do for a long, long time. You see? It's a nice machine. <laughs> a big bike, four cylinders, 160 horses. But boy oh boy, what a lot of fun to drive this. Wake up. Okay, now, let's see. What do we have? It's an S1000 XR, model 2015. This is a new model, a new bike in total. At first it was like, meh, look at the duck nose. Looking kind of strange, but uh, it grew on me. It really did. Now 1000cc. It's the exact same block as in the uh, S1000R. That is based on the S1000 double R. That one has like 200 horses, but uh, this one has 160, so it's a little bit tuned back, but it gained uh, a little bit of torque and stuff like that, but uh, it's nice. Machine, I tell ya. So, let's see. What do we have? The nose. The nose itself is symmetric, but the lights are not the same as you can see. Left, right. This bike has a daylight, I hope you can see it. <laughs> Pretty nice. A big ass radiator in the front. Brembo brakes, double disc in the front, 320 millimeters. Nice one. Good brakes in the back. All ABS. Traction control. See the foot pegs with a little bit of rubber. Always nice. This bike also is equipped with um, the mounting brackets for the panniers. You have a little hand grips in the back always nice for the pillion hand guards it's a good for uh, rocks and flies and everything the screen is uh, small but it doesn't have to be big to do its job you know two stances one two for the looks of it i prefer it down but for the wind protection it's better up easy as that the seat oh my god this is really a really good seat. A lot of space to move around. This thing, the ridge, you feel it, you put your butt against it. It really supports you. Preparation for the GPS system from BMW, cruise control, daylights, heated hand grips. This one is for the modes of the, of the engine, like dynamic, rain, road, dynamic pro. Let's set it on dynamic pro, that's a part of the uh, dynamic uh, package and then we have the suspension suspension wise dynamic road dynamic road dynamic road as you can see we have six uh, different uh, settings for the uh, <laughs> only joking we have two settings for the suspension then the usual stuff ABS check, uh, check it off check it on Trip meter, info button, the indicator button, the horn, cruise control, as I said. Um, really pretty good bike. The sitting position is straight up. But, <laughs> man oh man, when you turn this little thing, it goes wild. <sighs> Crazy stuff. <laughs> okay. This is a little thing, nice addition. They lifted up the uh, the thing for uh, putting gas in your tank, and uh, and this is uh, some kind of protection. Now let's hear the sound of this bike. The stock. Don't forget, guys. This is the stock sound. Let's start it up. Nothing special. Nothing special. But then. I'm gonna leave my mic in my head, in my uh, helmet, and let's hear it. Yeah? Now! Mic out of the helmet! And 
that, ladies and gentlemen, is a stock sound of the S1000XR. Oh, one very important thing I did not mention. It is the uh, quick shifting thing. Shift Assist Pro, I think it's called with BMW. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Once you are used to that, <laughs> it's so much fun. Shift up. No, no clutch needed. Only for starting, for, for departure. That's it. And then when you're going down, it it's looks for the right revving range. And then it gives a little pop. And then you're in the damn, in the right gear. Pretty. Pretty. Did I say nice? Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> okay, they sell this bike as a sport adventure. I have a little bit of uh, off-roading gravel little road over here. But I think it's the only off-roading I will be doing with this machine because this bike is not, not made for off-roading. It's for adventure in a sporty way. And let me tell you, this bike is very sporty and you can have a lot of adventures with it. Get it? Sport? Adventure? <laughs> okay. So, let's go, dudes. Uh, let's go that way. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm so excited for this bike. I like it, I like it. I cannot explain this. This is a pretty heavy bike, but give it a little bit of gas. Dude, this bike is a rocket. As uh, Mr. B would, would say, it can take you to the moon and back in just a day. Or something like that. No need to go to the moon. But it nice, it's nice to know that it is capable of doing that. <laughs> this is the perfect mixture when you want to be comfortable, you want to be straight up, you want to do a lot of highway kilometers, you want to go and have a lot of fun in, uh, let's say for example, the Belgian Ardennes. This bike is perfect for doing that. By the way guys, um, we all live in Belgium, Belmoro. And uh, region East Flanders. So what does that mean? Uh, look it up. <laughs> Didn't expect that answer, eh? Now here we have a lot of uh, beautiful roads. Not always in the, in the perfect condition, but this bike proves because you see this road is nah, okay. You have a lot of uh, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. see, but it's the feeling you get on this bike of those bumps is really minimal. Ah, the farmer has left his land. Oh, fucking. <sighs> Let's. I. He's losing shit! <laughs> you see? Come on! I cannot pass! For crying out loud! You know uh, the thing Jim Kana? There's a circuit the bikers do with a lot of uh, little pylons and stuff. Uh, short cornering, little aids and stuff like that. I think this bike is heavy, but I think it is doable with that. Dude, let me pass, man. I am sure of it. You can touch the ground with your knees with this bike. It's so freaking nimble. It's light. <laughs> With all this power and torque and stuff, I think you're gonna eat tires. Yeah, the only time you use the clutch is when you're in first gear and uh, you're going too slow or you wanna uh, start departure. Let's set on the traction, uh, the traction control. The cruise control. Shift it up. Now I'm doing, oh, going too fast. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You see how I am slowing down? Back a little bit, 
See, perfect. 70, nah, 69. 70 clicks an hour, case an hour. Perfect. Chick, 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 chick. This is a well-designed bike. It's powerful. That's good, but it's not for everyone. It's a four-cylinder from BMW. The leading four-cylinder for the moment. It's so perfect. It feels well, handles well. The, the, the throttle response, perfect, spot on. Perfect braking. The brakes, Brembo. They bite, you know, they are good, they are manageable, they are... The One remark though, that's the clutch lever. When you gotta use it, my hands are not small. And that's necessary, because it's you have to stretch very pretty far for the clutch lever. But in my case, no problem. But when you have, uh, like, hands this tall, <laughs> you have a problem, dude, this bike. It feels like it can do a lot of kilometers because of the sitting position. Look, window shopping. Woohoo! You saw me? <laughs> I love this bike. You can buy panniers for this bike, also a top case for this bike. So you can put a lot of stuff in this bike to go <laughs> on a holiday. And that's uh, that's what this this is made for. Not everyone has loves the, the GS. A lot of people do. But not, one, not everyone loves the, the, the character of a two-cylinder flathead, even though it's a magnificent engine. I drove with it, I was, oh yeah, perfect. The liquid cool one. Perfecto. <laughs> amazing, amazing, this Quickshifter Pro thing. This whole, this line. Oh, very beautifully. Up, down, low down in the revs. No problem for this bike. It has a lot and enough torque to pull its way through it. You don't feel the weight of this bike at all. The looks are strange, but the handling and the character of the engine is so perfect. I think a lot of people are not gonna try this bike. One, it's not cheap. Two, yeah, if it's not your thing, you don't gonna like the look of it. But please, people, go and test this bike. This is a whole separate world. It's it's so it's strange. You're sitting on a rocket, but not like <laughs> not like this. No, you're very comfortable. Wide handlebars, straight up position. But still, you're on a rocket. Magnificent! So guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. This has been a wonderful day for me. I had so much fun. I had high expectations of this bike. And this bike, I have to say, did, did all good. A lot of fun to drive. You feel safe when you, drive, when you ride it. With all the electronics and stuff. It helps, it helps a lot. The engine is phenomenal. The balance of the bike, amazing. Although it has 260 kilos, you don't feel them. It's a good sitting position. <laughs> this engine is so playful, so much fun. Let's recap. Uh, commuting, eight out of 10. Fun factor. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Long distances. Ah, let's give it an eight and a half. Very capable. Off-roading. I don't think this bike is made for off-roading. It's a sport adventure. More sport than adventure. So, this is a well-balanced bike. Very nice. Very good handling. Very phenomenal engine. So, uh, I had a wonderful day. I hope you guys and girls, friends and viewers from Belmodo, had a lot of fun watching this video. I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please share, leave a comment, whatever you want. And uh, see you next time, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye.